Okay, so what I use for this project is this Durban Twist Hair in the color silver. I use this crochet cap for making crochet wigs. Now I'm gonna put this on a mannequin head and I'm only going to be crocheting a portion, just this front portion that you see here, almost in like a mohawk style. Starting with the band, I'm just going to put the crochets on the band and then I'm going to work my way through uh, with the crochets all the way until um, just about a little, a little bit past the middle of the cap. I mean, if you want more of a mohawk style, you can go all the way down the center, but I'm going to stop it somewhere um, around the middle because I don't want it to go all the way down. Now that I have all the hair crocheted in place, I'm just gonna take a rubber band to kind of gather it all up because now I'm gonna cut all the excess cap off. If you have pins, like um, those little needle pins, you can stick it into the mannequin head that way it'll help you to cut the cap off, but I couldn't find mine, so you know, it's whatever. You gotta improvise and use what you got. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut the cap around the sides because the only portion that I want is just a portion that was crocheted. And here's what it's gonna look like after you're done cutting off the excess cap. Something like a little net, <laughs> a little crochet toupee. <laughs> so I'm gonna use bobby pins to secure this down onto my head. Just start right at the front of your hairline and use bobby pins to secure that in place. And I have to say, it, you might not think that it was secure, but that thing was really secure. Now, if you want extra security, you're free to um, buy some wig clips or the, I prefer the one with the clamps, you know, that you push in and then you clamp it down. You can sew clamps into this if you want it to be more secure, but the bobby pins made it feel just fine in my opinion. So now that I have the piece secured down with bobby pins, I'm gonna go and shape the crochet how I want it to look so I'm just going in with scissors and shaping that piece out to my liking now it's a bit harder when you're working with hair that's as light as mine because you gotta try to get the crochet to blend in with hair that's so light and a lot of hair don't blend in with this hair color so if you have like brown to, to dark or black hair it'll probably be a little bit more easier but I have to try to blend this color in with my color so it's a little bit more difficult it's doable but it's difficult <laughs> Alright, 
So now that I got this portion of it done, I got it pretty much blended the way I like. I'm going to use my Eco Styling Gel on the side of my hair and just try to blend it a little bit better with gel. Um, as you can see, because I bleached my hair, my curl pattern is non-existent. <laughs> so I have no curls whatsoever. So I'm just doing the best I can to kind of create the effect of curls. And this is the end result of the removable curl shave. So it didn't take very long to do and it was simple and easy and when I was tired of it I just take the darn bobby pins out and then I'm done. So pretty easy. And as always guys thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Have a very blessed day.